Good morning everyone. I am Shruti Sinha. Hope you all are good. Today we will see the utility softwares, booting concepts and open source software concepts of the chapter software concepts. So let's get started. Let's understand what is utility software programs. It is also known as service programs. It is a type of system software that allow user to perform maintenance type tasks usually related to managing a computer. There are various types of utility programs like disk fragmentation, disk cleanup, backup and restore, file compression, virus scanner, antivirus or cleaner, and encryption and decryption. Here we can see the examples of these utility programs. Let's understand what is disk fragmentation and defragmentation. Disk fragmentation occurs when a file is broken up into pieces to fit on the disk. Because files are constantly being written, deleted and resized, fragmentation is natural occurrence. When a file is spread, spread out over several locations, it takes longer to read and write. So we use disk defragmentation. Disk defragmentation is a process of unfragmenting or piecing together those fragmented files so they sit closer physically on the drive or other media potentially speeding up the drive's ability to access the file. There are some steps by which we can defragment our computer's disk. Next is Disk Cleanup. Disk Cleanup is a maintenance utility that was developed by Microsoft for its Windows operating system. The utility scans our computer's hard drive for files that we no longer need such as temporary files, cached web pages and rejected items that end up in our systems recycle bean. There are some steps which we can follow to clean up our disk. Here we can see the disk cleanup in Windows 10. Next is backup and restore. Backup and restore is a backup component of Windows Vista and later version of Microsoft Windows that allows user to create or restore backups of files and create and restore system images to repair data in the event of data corruption, hard disk drive failure or malware infection. The purpose of backup is to create a copy of data that can be recovered in the event of a primary data failure. Backup copies allow data to be restored from an earlier point in time to help the business recover from an unplanned event. These are the steps to backup the files. Next is file compression. File compression is used to reduce the file size of one or more files. When a file or group of file is compressed, the resulting archive often takes up 50% to 90% less disk space than the original files. Common types of file compression include zip, gzip, rar, stufflt and 7z compression. Here we can see the winzip and winrar. 
when zip is popular hi format widely using in internet like other archives zip files are data containers they store one or several files in the compressed form and when rar is a competing product of winzip both compress or decompress and archive files next utility program is virus scanner or antivirus or cleaner so first understand what is virus virus in stands for vital information resource under sees a computer virus is a computer program or a piece of code that is loaded into our computer without our knowledge and run against our consent virus has a property to replicate itself and spread itself from one computer to another computer it can affect the data files boot sector of hard drive etc when its replication succeeds the affected area is said infected viruses are human made programs generally write to access private information corrupt data to display political and humorous messages on the users screen they insert themselves into host programs and spread on the execution of infected programs there are some harmful effects of computer viruses number 1 is virus can corrupt our system file and slow down our computer system it can make some programs corrupt or faulty it can damage computers boot sector it can steal our computer's information and send it to another person virus can delete our complete hard drive it can display irrelevant and annoying messages on our computer screen and it can change the power rating of our computer which may cause of blast there are some types of computer viruses which include boot sector viruses computer program viruses multipartite viruses stealth viruses macro viruses polymorphic viruses active x viruses browser hijacker resident viruses and file infector viruses there is a list of malwares which are generally categorized as computer viruses these are computer worms trojan horse spam virus spyware and zombies now let's understand what is antivirus and how it works antivirus software is a type of program designed and developed to protect computers from malware like virus computer worms spyware botnets root kits key loggers and such kind of malware antivirus programs functions to scan detect and remove viruses from our computer there are many versions and types of antivirus programs that are on the market however the prime objective of any antivirus program to protect computers and remove viruses once detected some of the commonly available antivirus programs or scanner in the market are avg macfi scan semantic norton antivirus casper sky quick heal pc selene antivirus security suits add aware 
there are some steps to remove virus from our computer we can follow these steps to remove the virus from our computer next utility program is encryption or decryption in cryptography encryption is the process of encoding information this process converts the original representation of the information known as plain text into an alternative form known as cipher text ideally only authorized parties can decipher a cipher text back to plain text and access the original information so we can say encryption is the process of converting normal message that is plain text into meaningless message that is cipher text whereas decryption is the process of converting meaningless message that is cipher text into its original form that is plain text while decryption is the process of converting meaningling meaningless message into its original form let's understand the concept of booting booting means to load and initialize the operating system on a computer machine it can happen in two ways which is warm boot or cold boot let's understand what is warm boot so restarting a computer that is already on it normally happens after installing a new software or hardware or after an application crashes or stops working and the cold booting means to starting a computer that is already off it happens when we turn on a computer that has been completely powered off let's understand open source concepts the term open source software is used by some people to mean more or less the same thing as free software however their criteria is somewhat lax they accept some license restrictions that we consider too restrictive open source software is software which source code with source code that anyone can inspect modify and enhance source code is the part of software that most computer users don't ever see it's the code computer programmers can manipulate to change how a piece of software a program or application works programmers who have access to a computer program's source code can improve that program by adding features to it or fixing parts that don't always work correctly correctly freeware is a computer software with copyright which is made available for use free of charge and for use an unlimited time all the features are free we can modify it we can download from the internet so free software has no copyright and it is free of charge we can free to share study and modify it let's understand what is shareware software so shareware refers to commercial software that is copyrighted it is provided initially free of charge to users just for trying it and then they will pay if they want to continue to use it for example we use the antivirus for a trial version of 1 month next is proprietary software proprietary software sometimes referred to as closed source software it is a software that legally remains the property of the people who created it 
the organization that owns the rights to the product usually does not release the source code and may insist that only those who have purchased a special license key can use it there are some pros and cons of property software here we can see the differences between proprietary and open source softwares thanks for watching the video thank you so much